Hello creatives, welcome to the daily pick a card and birthday reading for September 23rd. If you were born today after sunrise, you are an ace of clubs. Before sunrise, you're actually yesterday's card, which was a two of clubs. All right, so what we do here is read each card individually, then all together for the collective. We're gonna talk about the energy of today. First day of Libra season, it's that Ace of Clubs, that energy that we might bump into today. First Deacon, Venus, Venus, so it could get really interesting. Um, and then we're going to wish the Ace of Clubs a very happy birthday. This is your solar year cards. They are here to help you help yourself in your manifesting abilities by raising your vibration. We'll see where you're being invited to take a look so that you can build up that feel good energy and therefore have all of that to draw on when it comes time to manifest. All right, let's turn over card number one. So we've got the Jack of Diamonds. Very interesting card here. A lot of fast-paced energy. It encompasses the aces, twos, and threes in the same suit. So there's a lot going on here. This is about finding a value in something. Mostly you. We are going to talk about the energy of today as well. So... We've got the, the Libra season, first house that really has that outward look to figure themselves out, you know, bouncing off energy to reflect back images of who you are at your soul. So we've got that. We've got the Venus, Venus energy going on here. So it's all about building beauty and creativity. It is a beautiful season to be in and very interesting that we are now finally kind of going and experiencing a, more of an extroverted way of figuring things out. Pretty cool. And Uranus energy with this Jack. All Jacks, Uranus. So look to your, 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 your Uranus position and see what card you have there. For the chart of the day, that would be a nine of spades. So it's all about remedies and cures through that self exploration. It's kind of like, it, it's the, the K2 card. And you want to look there as well, which is the Jack of Hearts. So you can see how all this red energy kind of just builds on itself. And the Hermit, right? Because it's the Nine of Spades in the Uranus position. And that is all about contemplating within. Very interesting when you get into all the, the nitty gritty of what could um, be presenting to you today. Because for you, if you pick this card, you're going to have the opportunity to really see and find a value. You're going to realize that value. It's going to be about yourself. It's going to be you bouncing off of something and getting a glimpse of what you hadn't really recognized as being something really valuable of you. So this is you discovering a new talent, a new skill, a new way of doing things because of the diamond suit. So the self, then you're going to know exactly what to do with it. The twos, that moon energy, empress energy. So you've got all that fertility around it and within it. Same as with the ace, because that's an opportunity coming your way. And as I said, this is going to be about you. It's the perfect season for it. And then you're going to know how to put it to action, that three of diamonds, that Mars energy. So you're going to go at this full charge. It's lovely that it's in the upright position. It's you understanding exactly what you're doing. So grounded, concrete, it's a value. It's beautiful. It's embracing that experience 
experience of finding the value. It's really going to make you feel super good to realize something really valuable about yourself. All right, let's look at card number two. We've got the two of spades. So the two of spades is in reverse. Reversals are just a heads up about the energy that you could be bumping into today. You could get triggered by that energy and be invited into behaving in that lower vibration of a two of spades, or you could be bumping into someone that is indulging <laughs> in that energy, which would look a lot like a hypochondriac and unwilling to take a look or to fix it. You know, they just want to complain. So understand that if that's you complaining about something, it's your responsibility to pull the thread on that and find out where it goes. Beautiful day for this to happen for you because the Ace of Clubs is the number one card, the energy of today of getting yourself out of um, a depression. So if you've been under the weather or just had that reversed spades going on, you know, like um, not feeling up to pa and just wondering about being misdirected or um, just cloudy thinking and not feeling like you, um, you've you got what you need to address whatever is ailing you mentally or physically. That's the cards, the spades suit. So it's you being invited to take a look at what's not working for you. What have you found yourself complaining about recently, uh, physically or mentally, not taking care of yourself? So that is where you're being invited to take a look today. And, you know, do it with kindness and curiosity. There really isn't any other way to open yourself to a remedy. And taking care of yourself is a beautiful place to start. And again, with Libra season beginning, there's that balance that you're going to want to find within. So, you know, we all go through this and everybody has this happening to them at some time or another. So you get the opportunity today to do exactly that, to find that remedies and cures. Now, we're also just because the spade suit is a fire suit in the cards of truth so look to your fire planets for direction you know what what do you have in your mars position that could could give you some direction on how to approach this on an ace of clubs day so for you if you're a, an ace of clubs you've got the 10 of spades which isn't an easy card. This is the card that um, is like walking through hell with a smile. So it's not something that is um, unfamiliar to you. So you know exactly what kind of work it takes to put into something like this to figure it out. But every test is you finding you stronger and more determined to take care of yourself. That is that emotionally, right? And that's the moon card. So on your Mars, you've got the five of clubs, which is about doing the work, understanding the what needs to happen and seeing the value in doing it. Stick to itness, determine, right? So best of luck. And uh, we'll revisit when we read this as a whole. All right, card number three. We've got the King of Hearts. So the King of Hearts is the granddaddy card. They, this card 
is saying that you, if you got this card today, you're going to be eliminating something that has been holding you back emotionally, taking a big upgrade in how you take care of yourself emotionally. And it's good because it's Pluto. And interestingly, if you are an ace of clubs or if you're even either or the energy of today, the king of hearts is in the Pluto position for an ace of clubs. So this is pretty heavy duty, especially in this beginning of Libra balancing Venus heart led, right? It's all there. And we're going to let go of something that's no longer serving. It has actually been holding you back. It's been restricting you. This is about you figuring that out and knowing exactly what to let go of. It's change through crises, so it might come through as a little abrupt, but it's in the upright position and it's red suit, so it's not going to be something that knocks you off your feet. It's going to come through more like an aha moment of that it's kings encompass the seven, eights, and nines of the suit. So we're looking at the seven of hearts and we're looking at eight of hearts and nine of hearts. And it's all about Saturn energy because of the seven, the death card in the major arcana. So with that, you're going to be making a better choice for yourself, a new beginning, some kind of necessary transformation in order to do that. And it's timely, timely healing. So and growth through that healing. Then we've got the eight, the Rahu, the hanged men. So you're going to be looking at it a little differently. It's about feeling or embracing that limbo, that time where you are able to really just maybe have a cup of tea, if that's all it takes, a walk around the block, whatever, whatever is the catalyst for you to see more of what's needed. And then you've got the uh, K2 energy of the nine of hearts. So that's the full energy so that you'll know what direction that you're being invited to go forth in. It's a leap of faith. Yes, but it's also creative. It's adventurous. It's you figuring out your individuality. Gotta love it. <laughs> So, okay, we got a big day here. It looks like um, in this Venus balancing season, we are going to realize a nice value. You know, it may come across as being kind of foggy thinking and not really understanding what the heck's going on here. And it is all about encompassing the energy of the day to do exactly that. We're going to realize our newfound value in our skills, talents, um, way we're making a living, that kind of thing. We'll realize how we need to take our steps forward with that and really realize a new value of self. If you got the two of spades, if you're bumping into that energy today, you know, be kind, be generous, and be thoughtful about your reactions, whether you're bumping into someone that is hurting in that way um, and unable to see and deal. Just find the kindness and move on. If it's you, then again, find the kindness to help yourself Pull the thread on where that feeling of being stymied or under the weather. And it is the best day for something like this because the Ace of Clubs is that energy of coming out of a depression. So even though you're bumping into something that is triggering, you will be able to understand what's needed in order to feel better. 
we all go through these things. So, you know, it's just your turn today. And you've got all the energy you need here to really deal with whatever comes up for you. This King of Hearts, you're going to know exactly how to eliminate it and move on in a much better position for you. You're just going to be letting go of something that hasn't worked for you for a while. You're going to know it. It's going to come through with a, a need for you to adult this situation. So whatever we're being asked to look at and to let go of a lower vibe about taking care of ourselves and how we do that. It's emperor energy, so it's going to come through pretty strong, pretty stuck, and you might be pretty conflicted about how to take care of it. But if you put the effort in here, you've got a lot of energy to do just that. So remember, the Uranus energy, very creative. You're going to see it, know what to do with it. The King energy, that Pluto, it's there in the chart in the Pluto position. So we're going to, we're going to deal just fine with the way it comes through. All right. So... I think that's all I've got to share around the energies for today. Let's move on to the birthday. Happy birthday, Ace of Clubs. Let's see what you get for your creativity oracle and where you're being invited to take a look as to what you can do to raise your vibration. Hmm, let's find out. Flash. A creative flash of inspiration will come to you and quickly give you the perfect solution. Yeah, you know, it is like that for the red suits especially, or any suit, honestly, any kind of... It's so apropos for an ace to begin with. You know, it's you. Just uh, uh, yeah, another flash. <laughs> Here we go again. And uh, you know, knowing what to do with it and how to how to do with it so for you to really take a look at how those flashes come through for you in your chart with being creative and how to think outside the box and being invited to put that pluto to card to good use you're going to want to um, begin by looking at your overlying card number for the Ace of Clubs. For you, it's the Two of Hearts. So the Two of Hearts is also in your chart in the Queen position. So it really kind of doubles down on it. And not only that, it is activated by the Two of Hearts. You, Ace of Clubs, semi-fixed, both of them. They interact with each other beautifully. So for you, going to that Queen card and looking at the queen position, understanding that a little more is really going to give you such a boost because, and an enlightenment, honestly, that two of hearts is about connecting with something that's going to make you happy, that's uh, hopeful and empathetic and just really understanding the, that it's an, an opportunity to feel good, basically. So with that Ace of Clubs energy that's already there, that you know original ideas, the new enterprise, it's a, a new study, it's um, new energies coming to you through that intellectual pursuit. It's you changing your perspective on something. And as I said, a mood lifter. So it's really kind of being open to being a visionary when it comes to that Ace of Clubs. It's a foundation card. So it holds all the ability of all the other cards in the suit. It's really a lot of energy to deal with. So if you're going to look at that two of hearts in the queen position, there's two other things you'll want to do in your chart especially look to your uh, sun because that is a queen card. So you're going to take that two of hearts and go right to the queens in your chart. That's a queen of clubs. 
So again, being an ace of clubs, that queen of clubs is going to be very important to you. It encompasses the fours, fives, and sixes of the same suit, which you've got a five of clubs there on your Mars. So you're no slouch when it comes to seeing a value in something, understanding that that where to put the work in, you see it, you know that it's worthy and you enjoy it even. Jupiter energy. So, you know, it's all good. The only thing that holds you back at all would be the moon position, right? Because that's that 10 of spades and not an easy card. But again, you know, it is something that you put the work in, you get the rewards back. It is about having that magician energy as well for that. So it's you seriously being connected with your spirit guides and your daimon and being able to listen, understand that whatever hardships that Ten of Spades brings your way is all about the learning curve, you knowing yourself more every single time something like any kind of uh, test comes along. It's you figuring it out. That Ten of Spades is the ecliptic. So you want to go and look at your ecliptic. And for you, it's the Nine of Clubs, which is about letting go. <laughs> it's a beautiful giving position, the Nines. And for the Nine of Clubs, it's very much like the Nine of Spades. It's all about the Hermit. It's going within. It's understanding that something needs to go. It's you seeing what that is and allowing that to happen. Because what does that do? That brings that balance of you coming back to you, being able to change that karmic DNA that that action, that the, the, the DNA is just ingrained into you from ancestry, baggage, letting go. That's your chart. So yes, a, flea, a creative flash of inspiration. That is an ace of clubs. <laughs> and it can quickly give you that perfect solution, yes, with that, two of hearts being able to make that connection. So stay on your path. That nine of clubs is really about giving to receive as well, um, not in an expectation kind of way, but in a way that really sets you free. Okay, let's see what you get for the spirit and nature. Well, of course, nine of spades. Okay, so for you, you are being invited to look to your letting go of exactly that. That nine of spades is on your Uranus position. It is you getting creative in a understanding kind of way about what kind of baggage needs to be let go of. That is your Rahu as well. Five of spades, working it through, figuring it out. It's not hard. It's not easy. It is can be confusing, but what you are being asked with that hermit energy, with those nines, the nine of clubs, the nine of spades, to look inside to really figure out that K2 energy. And for you, it's the Jack of Hearts. It is how you really love yourself. <laughs> I know. It's kind of really beautiful energy that your growth always leads you back to how you take care of you, how you make sense of your life and the difficulties, knowing that it is all to, to grow through and to become um, 
a better human being, basically. So every time you can let go of some garbage, <laughs> DNA crap that you know has no place within you, let it go. Move on to that flash of finding the perfect solution and move on with a lighter heart. That's that two of hearts. Take full advantage of it. All right, and keep checking your chart because that overlying card tends to come up as your ecliptic card for the day, the week, the year. And when that happens, you're going to have an extra opportunity to really connect with something of emotional value for you. With the Ten of Hearts there on your Pluto, you won't have any trouble recognizing when that opportunity comes through because it's a trigger for who you are at your core to begin with, that semi-fixed card. All right, great reading for today. This is really pretty sweet. Beginning